Hello, it's Deanie. After reading and learning some great life lessons from Narwhal, Unicorn of the Sea by Ben Clanton, I decided to dive right on in to the next in the series called Super Narwhal and Jelly Jolt. And I'll just say, for a children's book, this gives you a lot of adult life lessons. So in this installment, Narwhal decides to become a superhero, Super Narwhal. Jelly decides to become Narwhal's sidekick and becomes Jelly Jolt, Super Sidekick. So already we're starting off with a good life lesson of trying to find the superhero within yourself. Find what you can do for the world. But not only for the world, but find your inner power. So Jelly obviously can like sting because jellyfish. But Narwhal, Narwhal can't figure out just quite yet what Super Narwhal can do. So even though Narwhal doesn't know what they can do yet, they're still like, I believe in myself. So even if you don't know what your superpower is, believe in yourself because one day you will find it. But then if you're like Jelly Jolt and know what you can do, go with it. Except for it's kind of bad because Jelly just like stings stuff. That seems like a bad thing for children to learn. Maybe as an adult, you could get by with that in business or something. Nope, that's not a good life lesson. Bad book. Don't sting people. Even metaphorically. Okay, but maybe soon this book will redeem itself. I swear we learned some good life lessons. I mean, that is a good life lesson. Don't sting people, you know? But then Narwhal encounters Starfish, who wants to be a star in the sky, not a star in the ocean. Some hijinks and some dangerous behavior happen to try to get Starfish into the sky, like cannons. Again, children don't play with cannons. Maybe adults. Adults play with cannons. That is fun. But anyway, they literally try to shoot Starfish into the sky. Doesn't work. But then they realize that magic, magic is possible. They decide to wish upon Starfish. They wish and wish and Starfish became a real star in the sky. So that kind of reminded me of in Charlie the Unicorn where Starfish saves Charlie and says, I'm a star, make a wish, wish to go home, just do it my love, wish. Hmm, maybe this is just like the child's version of Charlie with Unicorn. Probably the same life lessons too. But anyway, the good life lesson here is that if you believe that you want to do something, become a star in the sky, find a way to make it work. Find that magic. Maybe it's inner magic, maybe it's some help from others. Like Starfish had to use kind of like narwhal in their in their double kind of wishing to go into the sky and it worked so asking others for help there we go asking others for help is useful good life lesson so after narwhal is able to jettison starfish into the sky narwhal encounters jelly jolt being a little bit sad that's because jelly jolt was being made fun of by the rude crab so crab was calling jelly jolt jelly dolt which while is a great insult a play on word insult just don't insult people that is bad and we did learn that from this don't insult people because it makes people sad so narwhal consoles jelly jolt good good friendship and then is like okay we're gonna talk to crab and we're you know what crab's probably just jealous and we're gonna treat crab with some kindness kill them with kindness and also make crab a superhero and obviously, as we've seen before, Super Narwhal can do that, and Super Narwhal made Crab into a superhero. And then Jelly Jolt is like, oh my god, I figured out what your superpower is. It is finding and bringing out the super in others. So we're going to go off on a little tangent about how this isn't always healthy, and we need to learn that as adults. While it is super great to be able to bring out the super in others, sometimes that can be like leading to burnout. Narwhal needs to be supported and be respected for all the qualities, not just the ones about bringing out goodness in others. Find the inherent qualities of Narwhal that don't revolve around others and be like, Narwhal, you're super great even if you weren't able to do this, you know? Don't burn yourself out. Don't be used by others. But also, it's still great because you are like super supportive of your friends. And we can all get behind that. Be supportive of your friends. And finally, we're going to learn some fun facts because just like the last book that had fun facts, this one did too. Did you know that crabs can regrow claws or legs if they lose one in a fight? That's cool, but don't do that yourself because humans can't do that. Also, please don't get into fights. And did you know that blue whales are one of the loudest animals on Earth? I think we learned that from Finding Nemo and Finding Dory. Because Dory was pretty loud, and then we heard her talk to actual whales, and yeah, they were loud. So, just kind of like doubling down on the whole, we may not be able to hear them as humans, but whales are scary loud. So, that's it for this installment of adult life lessons that we can learn from a children's book. I am really looking forward to the next Narwhal and Jelly book in this series. 
So looking forward to that. Looking forward to my next adult life lessons video too. Thanks for watching.